Hello, my name is Seraphin Ventura, and for a while I have been experiencing some paranormal activity. <laughs> That's a funny thing to say. Not like ghosts that are real or anything. <laughs> However, I cannot ignore what happened. Let me show you. It all started on the 16th of September, 2041. And that should be... <laughs> Perfect, let's start the day. I wonder what the job description for today is. <laughs> oh dear, have I been robbed? Oh god, I hope they didn't take anything. Happy. Uh, hey, Violet, um. Seraphin, I heard you, um, yell. What was happening? Um. I think somebody might have broken in. Someone I... broke into your apartment? Well, not the kitchen's a mess. I didn't leave it like that last night. I want. Did they take anything? Not that I can tell. At least it didn't take anything, though. Yeah. That's still scary, though. <laughs> but I'm glad you're okay. Yeah. You didn't. S did you maybe see anyone recently? Yeah, yeah, um, Could have, you know. No, I didn't see anyone go into your apartment. Strange. I don't know. Maybe you were just really tired and you don't remember? I guess that's a possibility. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Let me know if you need anything else, okay? Okay. Thanks, Violet. No problem. Seventeenth of September is when the activity skyrocketed, but trust me, it gets worse as time goes on. No! But I, I'll sleep. <sighs> Must of. <sighs> yeah, and it's been a day. That noise. Jesus. <sighs> Thank God. Saw something. <laughs> After a few days, I wasn't feeling like myself anymore. Always paranoid and afraid of something. I didn't really know what scared me more the run funny I kept on seeing, or the feeling of anxiety from being watched. I almost wanted to starve. I ultimately decided to go and grab something, anything, from the supermarket. I'm not crazy, I'm not crazy. I've been seeing that bunny around. Surely somebody else sees him. What you came here for and go home. Where is it?
My goodness, you look like you've seen a ghost. Are you okay, Seraphim? Oh my god. Hey, 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 take a deep breath. Everything's okay. What's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. Oh, uh, is everything alright? You know what? It's fine. Um. Oh. You look like you're petrified, my dear. Are you here to get something? What's up? Uh, yeah, just, just came here to pick up some frozen pizza. I get you. Get you. Understandable. Y yeah, you know, uh. I should really get going. Sorry, um, Rose. Uh, uh, don't you want your pizza? Don't- wait, hey, don't you want your pizza? Come back! Later that day, my sister, Natalie, invited me to dinner. I haven't talked with her in ages, and for good reason. She doesn't really approve of the way I live my life, and always tries to get her way. Of course, my paranoia was at an all-time high. And that thing won't leave me alone. Just see for yourself. So, how have you been? It's been like, what? Uh, almost 10 years since the last thing? Are you still working for that M Mitchell guy? Or mm hmm. You, yeah. Is it going well? Because I've seen on the news where it's been like a bunch of like, incidents, and it doesn't seem like a safe place to work at all. Like, it just seems like a really, like, dangerous work for a, a pizzeria. For what it's been, no, like... no, no, no. You sure? It, it's like... There was that incident, like, a few months ago, wasn't there? With the... The weed person? It was just one. Just a lot of... It's, it just seems really dangerous. You really should get a new job. It's not good for you. I can already tell. Because... Natalie, it's fine. Are you sure? Are you absolutely positive? Because, like, it really is not a good at all. Again, like, if you really need a new place to work, I have a, I have a position I can open up for you if you need it. Like, it- it just- I'm sorry, it's just like- it's just like a safe place to work at after like all the incidents known for. Like the um, what was it? And the children- like the missing people that have happened over the years? I just- it doesn't seem safe for- sorry. Those are facts. Bonjour, madam. Hello. Is your menu? Right, oh, right. No, I, I already know I like- I already know I like them. Thank you. You already know what you want. Yes, I'm I'm a, I'm a regular. Then what would you like? May I have a Caesar salad? And... Yes, yes, I can get that for you. Thank you. What do you what want? What would now? you like? Oh. Not really. uh, give me a minute to think. All right, I'll be right back. Do y'all need any appetizers or drinks? Uh, can or... we have some Montreal sticks? <laughs> if it's not too much sugar. Yes. Salute. Thank you. I'll be right back. Thank you. Um... What do you keep looking at? And still, like, don't even get me started on... What was his name? Mitchell? Michael? Uh, Michael. He, he's a great guy. I'm sure he's got our sure? safety in mind. Yeah. You uh, I'm sure. I think he has your safety in mind. I don't think he does. I mean, I I used to go there when I was a kid, and there was, like, no safety regulations. There was hardly any, like, railing to keep the kids from getting up to the animatronics. There was hardly any fire safety. Not to mention the lack of actual, um ways to call somebody if there was an accident. Like, there wasn't any, like, anything like that. Are you sure? Are you positive you guys are safe with? Yeah, I'm sure. Alright then, I'll, all right, then. If, I'll take your word for it, but still, even back with the Michael person, I don't trust him. He He's never shown his face. I don't trust the man. 
to he says for he anybody. Has a, it says he just has a skin condition. Still, like, I'm pretty sure there's multiple doctors that could help with that. Like, you don't have to cover your entire face. To the point where nobody knows what you like. Nobody even knows where he came from. Like, who his parents are. He just appeared out of the blue. Nobody, like, nobody knows anything about him. Where he runs the pizzeria. Uh, I've never really taken interest in that. Yeah, I wouldn't either. You really should ask him about it one day. It would be in everybody's best interest. To learn more mm -hmm. about about the boss. Because I know... Yeah. I know for my company... We... <laughs> what are you looking at? Are you- oh, you're- are you okay? You keep looking uh, out the window. I want to go to the washroom. Oh, alright. The days kept passing, and my insanity only kept increasing. The stress from seeing that bunny everywhere was becoming evident. I wanted someone to help me, to save me. Unfortunately, late at night on the 20th of September is my worst episode of paranormal activity. I would have thought writing so much for me so. And heard by just close my eyes for a while. What was that? Oh. Why is the fridge open? This is fucked. Well, hello. It's been a while, my darling. We haven't seen you, you can't in so be here. long. No, you're right. We're not supposed to be here. But we've missed you so much. I have no idea how much me and your father have missed you. Mother's right. It's impossible that you're here. You guys died years ago. What are you guys doing here? You died years ago when I was ten. In a car crash. This is impossible! Yeah. But it is. It is very much possible, my dear. And and me and your father have missed you so much. And we, we really just want have. we just want you to join us in the afterlife now. And maybe Natalie will come along too. Eventually. We can be a whole family again. Mm-hmm. That's all we've ever wanted. Just to be with you again. Since we didn't watch you grow up. I wanna go to the afterlife. Yeah, I wanna be a whole family again, but... Not, not like this. Oh, come on. the only way. It is indeed the only way. And it only hurts for a short period of time. I want it like this. Come on, Seraphim. Join us. Join us. That's all we've ever wanted. You look so... Look, you look so much older. And I'm so proud of you, but I want you to join us now. I don't want to go with you. Watch you grow with us. Mm-hmm. Come join us. <laughs> It'll be quick. 
quick. I'm gonna join you. I'm gonna join <laughs> Come on, Stefan. Join us. Join us. Come on. Stop. It's not that bad. Mike, what's up? Uh, no, not really. Ruby's out of the hospital? How? How did she get past the doctors? Oh my god. Uh... Yeah, I'll I'll be right over. No. All right. Uh, bye. I decided to stay over at Rose's once I got Ruby back to the hospital. I stayed for a few days to also recover after seeing my literal dead parents and then trying to choke the life out of me, no less. However, I went back to my apartment and everything was weirdly normal until I heard a knock. Crazy, I'm not crazy. It's fine. You're fine. Good. No, oh, it's crazy. That I'm not expecting anyone. left this year. Why is this year? Oh no 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 <laughs> Seeing that flower, that was my breaking point. It was a warning. A warning regarding the inevitable. I didn't want to think about it. I went to the pizzeria in a panic to see if Michael would be able to help. Lefty's now in defense, so I, I guess everything is alright now. <sighs> Let's see what Seraphin is doing. Looks like the doors are closed. Um... Seraphin, you in there? Yeah, one second. Uh, is, uh alright, thank you. Uh, I can come in, right? Yeah. Alright. Okay, so about that uh, flower that you brought in, um, yeah. are you sure everything is fine with everything? I mean, it, it looks kind of serious and stuff. Um, I don't know. You look like you haven't been sleeping alright. Those, those bags under your eyes look like mattresses. Thanks. Oh, it's uh, been a rough few days. No, yeah, no, I, least... I didn't mean to sound a bit. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. No, 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 it's okay. Are you sure you don't want me to call anybody? No one. I'm sure. I mean, okay. 
I did say that you can stay here in the security office. I did need somebody to stay here and watch over the place anyway. But try not to stay here for too long. Like in the security office, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It does get a bit claustrophobic in here. There aren't many windows. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, I know I'm intruding, but you look like you've seen a ghost recently. You just look very sp <laughs> spooked, you know what I mean? When I said it's been a rough few days, I've been seeing things that just hurt air. Seeing things. Uh, did you go to the doctor? No. <sighs> Seraphin, come on. You know, when you start seeing things, you have to go to somebody. <laughs> I mean, I don't mean to, I don't mean to label you as a, as a crazy lady. God forbid, but uh, you know. I just don't want this to end up being something serious. Something did happen uh, after I uh, put you in the office. Uh, one of the animatronics went haywire and we kind of sealed them off in the ventilation system. So if you are going to go out of the security office, just make sure don't go down to the ventilation system anytime soon. Never never liked the sound of that place anyways. Yeah, you wouldn't really like it there. It's dusty. <sighs> Anyhow, um, I suppose I should let you be. You can always go into the kitchen if you're feeling hungry, or you can just give me a call if something happens. Okay. Alright? You are going to be feeling all right. better, all right? Take care of yourself. Yeah. Alright. Alright, I'll see you around. Thanks, Michael. Yeah, no problem. Right. Anytime. <sighs> Anytime. From the 22nd to the 27th, I just kept a low profile. I still heard whispers and started seeing shadows in the corner of my vision. I went out of the office to either go grab food or water, or just to go to the bathroom. But nothing more. Until... Oh, I'm so hungry. I can't stay here longer. Nobody should... No, everyone should be powered off by now. He's gonna get me and everything. <laughs> He's gonna get me. Oh. Well, well, well. If it isn't Miss Redhead. D don't hurt me, please. <laughs> what? Are you, are you good, Seraphim? Sure. I ain't seen you in a while. Everybody else wondering where you've been locked up in that room. Like a dungeon or something. I wouldn't consider it a dungeon, you know? It's it's comfortable. It, it, it's safe. Yeah, surely. I mean, you, we really don't even really see you come out the doors that much or a, at all, really. Uh, that's. I'm not really looking for company. <laughs> You talked to Michael? Um, yeah. Yeah, everybody else is surely worried about you. Oh, we thought That's... you were dead. Well, not yet. 
What do you mean, not yet? Are you okay? I'm fine. Just... Could you... I should really get going, you know? It's gonna open for, you know, someone unwanted to see you. Unwanted see me? What do you mean? What? I forgot, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, oh the... I, I should really get going. Alright, I guess. 28th of September, 2041. I remember it being a cold night that day. I saw the animatronics go into power off mode on the cameras. I haven't slept in days. I just wanted to go to sleep and maybe tell Mike what I was going through. I wish I would have done that. Tricky person to catch. Who are you? Wait, you're that bunny I kept seeing around. What happened to the office? What did you do? You ask too many questions, love. I've been making you go insane so that I can easily capture you. Although I admit I was having a lot more fun than I should have. I have to get Mike! Not ah! that fast. Did you think you could escape me that easily? Escape! Leave me alone, you rotten bunny! Ah! You are ow, quite ow, ow, persistent. Ow, ow. This is starting to annoy me. I won't let myself be caught by you! Mike will come to help me at any moment, I'm sure of it! Oh, are you sure about that? You're an annoying and delusional. I suppose that's a part of the cause. <laughs> Oh, I just got a wonderful idea! Huh? Ah! Bother preserving your life! I can teach that bastard of a son a lesson with your death! You won't... get away with this! Is that so? <laughs> I can't wait then. I suppose this is goodbye, Seraph Inventor. Go and join your parents in hell! <laughs> to come, my God. Death. It's something we are all familiar with, whether it be experiencing the death of a family member or the loss of a pet. Death, ironically, is a part of life, and now I was faced with a choice, given by an unfamiliar shadow. Who, who are you? Where, where am I? Did, did I die? My name is Shadow Bonnie. You can ref or you can refer to me as just the shadow of a rabbit or bunny. Death itself, I don't really care. But this is a zone in between the afterlife and the mortal realm. 
the zone between the afterlife and death? Why am I here? No, you have two choices in this void. You can either choose to move on into the afterlife or remain in the mortal realm. Now, if you choose to return to the mortal realm, you're going to have to protect Michael. But if you choose to continue on in the afterlife, then you get to be with your family. This is your decision to make. Michael, it's in my boss. What's, what's so special about him? He's the key to ending all of the torment. He's the key to ending all of the pain and suffering and agony that has occurred and that has happened up until now. He is the missing puzzle piece. All I have to do if I want to go back is protect him. There's nothing else to this, is there? No, there is no catch. There is no twist. Just protect Michael if you wish to return. But of course, you can also choose to move on to the afterlife. It's your decision. That's all I have to do. But I'd like to return. That is your choice. You shall return. My name is Seraphine Ventura. I am just your average 24 year old woman trying to make an honest living by working in a pizzeria. There is absolutely nothing wrong with me. I have a new purpose now. Protect Michael Afton from any dangers. <laughs> Spectator.